Hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to tell you the reasons why I think Nikki is still being investigated. First off, I want to start out by saying that I do not believe that she is in the Witness Protection Program. I do not believe she ever was in the Witness Protection Program because she does not meet the requirements for that type of a program. I also don't believe that anyone on YouTube is going to be solving this crime or getting her arrested in any way. I think the FBI, the CBI, and all investigators involved are fully capable of solving this on their own. I do, however, personally think that she is still being investigated, and I will give you a breakdown of some of the reasons why I think that. And I'm not alone in, in the reasons that I think these things. First off, if you listen to the words of Miss Sandy Rusek at the sentencing hearing, she says that God will make sure that the evil people are where they belong. Well, we know Chris is one of the evil people, but could N.K. possibly be one of the other evil people that Sandy is referring to? Also, if you listen to the attorneys for the family on the Dr. Phil show, they said they also felt that one of the reasons that it could be possible that they were going to speak with Chris at the prison was the possibility that they were still investigating someone else. The other thing, when they asked Chris about N.K. at the prison, she's almost one of the very first things that they bring up to him, and she's also one of the very last things. So I thought that was kind of interesting that they wanted to leave they wanted to leave there with her being like the one of the last things that were spoken about. Leave that fresh in his mind. And they started out with her. They also asked him about, they're fully aware that a lot of people on the internet feel that she was involved. They even said it flat out. They told him that. They told him that a lot of people think that she was um, there that night. They think she might have been in the basement. They think she was involved. They think she could have been the mastermind. And when they ask him that point blank, instead of him just saying, no, no way. You know, why would, say, why would they think that? He didn't say that at all. He just kind of talked in circles and said, oh, well, sometimes she had to be talked off of a ledge. That's just not the kind of a response that I would expect somebody to have if they knew full good and well that no one that this person was not involved with, with a murder that they committed. Can you imagine somebody asking you that question and you knew that your friend had nothing at all to do with something like that? Wouldn't you be like, no, gosh, why would people think that? Or ask a question like, wow, really? That people are thinking that? Why would they think that? He doesn't do that at all. Not a question one was asked, at least that we know of. Because I know that I, I do believe that some of that tape was um, held back from the general public. Along with over 200 pages of the discovery that you have to remember has also been kept from us. Um, I think a portion of those is possibly interviews with Jim. Leave Jim alone. I don't think they left Jim alone. And her friend Charlotte, Brittany, Charlotte, whatever her name might be. Um, her interviews were not a part of that discovery file. Also, they went back and spoke to her in, they spoke to Nicole in September. We don't have that. We don't have the um, documentation or the tapes of those. And opinion. The way that Nikki was pressuring them to find out information about if they'd gotten her text messages back and just the way she wanted to be all involved with the case at the beginning and on her tapes and in her text messages that she would really be pressuring the investigators to clear her name publicly I think because she is very persistent and if in fact she knew she had been cleared 
by them, that she would come out publicly, and she would want them to come out publicly and say, look, because look at all the hate that she's getting and all the backlash, and they're aware of it because they told Chris about it. Everybody's thinking she was involved. Wouldn't she be asking and pleading with them, hey, would you go and, you know, clear my name for me or make it a statement, make a public statement to the newspaper, to the media that, hey, she was completely not involved. No, that's not happened. I also wanted to tell you that I don't believe, like a lot of people do believe on YouTube, there's been a lot of videos, I'm sure you've seen, that uh, they show, you know, Chris walking out to get in his truck. And a lot of people believe that that first person walking out with the white, socks. I think it's white socks and sweatpants myself, but a lot of people think that was Nicole. I do not. I, I personally do not. I believe that if they had her on tape walking straight out of a murder scene, that she would already be in jail. So it's my opinion that that was Chris walking out of the garage. Um, and you know, she didn't have to be there that morning and physically have done this to be involved. She could be charged with other things other than just the actual crime itself. You know, there's conspiracy to commit murder. She could have helped after the fact. She could have helped cover things up. She could have had knowledge and not given that knowledge to the police. There's a lot of other things they could charge her with. And I'm sure in a case like this that they have to make sure that they're crossing their T's and dotting their I's and getting all this information together in order to charge her. It's not going to be as cut and dry as with Chris, Chris's case. And just sort of the way that she was acting. When the police picked her up and took her in and she's with her dad, she's talking exactly the same as she talked the day that she didn't supposedly know that they were dead. Giggling, laughing. There's no change whatsoever in the way that she's acting. It's just, it's just very strange to me. Um, she also had been Googling, can police retrieve text messages? Um, hey, why wasn't she Googling? She's Googling Ronnie, uh, Ronnie Watts. Why didn't she Google the Ruzek family? Get their phone number, get their address. Give them a call and tell them how sorry she is and she apologizes and then she feels horrible for what has happened. She didn't do anything like that. Not at all. And I'm telling you right now, she knew Shanann was pregnant. I'm not an idiot and no, neither is the police. She knew dang good and well that she was pregnant. And I guarantee you she ended up finding out that they were having a boy and she was putting the pressure on Chris like there's no tomorrow. Probably telling, fix this. You got to fix this. You can see how demanding and uh, how much pressure she put on him. I mean, he completely changed in a matter of six weeks. He fell head over heels in love with this girl. I think she was pressuring him, you know, telling him to get his own bank account, showing him how to do this, doing all this research for him, trying to find him apartments. She's what I call a ramrod person, an overbearing person that can't take no for an answer. And if you're a passive person like Chris, a wishy-washy person like Chris that's, you know, can get rolled over, barrel rushed, she's going to put the pressure on him until he finally just flips out. But I don't think he flipped out at the night that he killed Shanann. I do think that was premeditated, but I really think she was putting the screws to him. Just look at how she acted when he was in North Carolina with his family and how she admits that she kept calling him saying, have you talked to your family? Family's important. Get with your family. Where's your family? What's going on? What are you doing? What's going on? See, she's like, had to be all up in his business all up in his business. I wonder why. I simply wonder why. Why was she Googling wedding dresses? He had been Googling um, jewelry and I think maybe he was planning on taking her on a little 
vacation instead of Shanann after these murders. He's delusional in his head, the way he was thinking. I don't know what he was thinking. He was thinking, Nikki. And if you remember, I think it was about around December 2018, that uh, there was a problem with a lot of YouTubers, and NK had gotten an attorney, maybe like a public relations attorney or a um, media attorney, and they were telling YouTubers to remove her name and her pictures from their YouTube pages. You don't see that anymore. That's went bye-bye. What happened with all that? Is she having to use her um, attorney for something else? Other than public relations? It all comes down to the investigation team knows knows about her. They, knows, they know what's going on. They know there's public outcry saying that she was involved. And that, or she could have been the mastermind or involved one way or the other. And I can guarantee you the ramrod that she is, she would be calling them up bugging them every day asking them to clear her name publicly i can guarantee you that as much as pushy as she is this is gonna have to be taken care of you're gonna have to clear my name that's my opinion and i have to wonder you know how chris likes to repeat certain phrases and he says he says them all the time. He would say the certain phrases over and over. And one of those phrases was, we had an emotional conversation that morning. We were both bawling our eyes out. I just have to wonder, was that emotional conversation with NK and not Shanann? Were the, was it him and, Nick, uh, him and Nikki bawling their eyes out? Because I can't, sure can't see him bawling his eyes out over Shanann. He wasn't even bawling his eyes out over his own babies. So I, I can't imagine he would be bawling his eyes out with Shanann. But maybe Nikki. His little love of his life. I feel he's a coward. I feel he murdered Shanann in their bed. She was probably asleep under the blankets. She might have woke up when he slid into the bed. Slid into the bed over the comforter. So her arms were inside of the comforter. and She couldn't do anything about it. She was asleep. Because he was a coward. A coward. He would do that in, in her sleep. He was not in a rage. There's no way that he was in a rage. You're not in a rage and go downstairs and make your oatmeal and your chicken. No. Do you see how casually he's walking back and forth out there in the driveway? That's not a rage. If you're in a rage, you don't give a damn about going to make your breakfast and pack your breakfast for work. That's ridiculous. I don't believe that for a second. All right. Well, that's just a few of my thoughts. I'm sure there's many more, but that's just a few that I wrote down. And um, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Also, if you listened...